I'm reporting from Panasonic 2017 convention in Frankfurt, and I'm spending a bit of time with the UB400, which is the step-down 4K Blu-ray player from Panasonic below the UB700 and also the flagship UB900. Now, we have delved through the menu a little bit, and I can report on one very, very good feature that, uh, that I'm going to show you. Previously on the Panasonic UB700 and also the UB900, the bit depth output is uh, forced at 12 bit. This causes some bending and posterization issues with some lesser televisions. Now we've been lobbying Panasonic to try and introduce a 10 bit mo output mode, and I'm very, very pleased to see the mode appear on the UB400. If we go into the user menu, go into the HDMI settings, go to the advanced settings, you can see that deep color output is set uh, to 12-bit priority as default automatically, but you can change it to 10-bit output. This will ask the player to send the 10-bit for 2.0 uh, chroma from, from, from 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray players natively at 10-bit to the television. Hopefully this will solve some problem, some bending and posterization problem on say 2015 sets like the JS9500 which can't handle 12-bit handle output without causing posterization. I'm pleased to also announce that Panasonic engineers have told me that this feature, this 10-bit output mode, will be coming to the UB700 and also the UB900 as well through a firmware upgrade. Uh, the, there's no timeline for the firmware to be released, but I've been told that it will be sooner rather than later. Looking at other aspects of the UB400 and also the UB300, Panasonic executives have told me that they've tested almost 100 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray discs, and in almost all cases, the UB400 will have a faster loading time than the OPPO 203 and also the Samsung K8500. This is Vincent Thieu of HDTV Test reporting from Frankfurt.